I just want to briefly go through how you upload photographs into a photo um, storage space in your page. It's important to note that this is technically a website. So before you actually upload your pictures in here, you must work with them to make them um, suitable for viewing on a website. So I have uploaded my pictures. They can either be on your USB or you can put them into your my pictures or my documents. So I have my pictures taken. I know which ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to adjust them before I upload them. So to do that, I go down to start and the program I use is located at Microsoft Office. I simply go to all programs. I go up to Microsoft Office. I go across to Microsoft Office tools and then I basically select Microsoft Office Picture Manager. This opens up. You browse for wherever your photographs are located. Okay, so you can go into any of these um, and you can find your photographs. So in this case, I'm going to use this photograph. So when it opens up for the first time, um, you have down here on the right hand side, export pictures. So you basically select that. You then choose export using this size and you select from the drop down menu either web large, web small or email large. This basically condenses down the pixel size of the photograph, um, enabling that the photograph will be shown correctly and not too large on the website. Some photographs have more enormous pixel qualities. So I, for this case, I'm just going to choose web large. And uh, if I really want to, I can just select OK here. It says replace the file and that has now been saved. I can also go in here and edit the picture and crop it further. So if I wanted to crop it or brighten it or anything basically to do with the photograph, I can do it in here. So I'm going to crop it slightly, very slightly. OK, so I just say OK to that. I have made a change, so I save it. So my photograph now um, has been sized and it has been cropped and I now will be able to upload it correctly. So it's important that you work with your photograph first before you upload them. So I close down that. So now I'm able to upload it. To do that, you simply look to your left hand side and select the word photos. OK, so your photo section opens up. I know the photographs in there already. It's just coincidence. I'm picking the same one. So I'm going to upload it, upload a new one. So I select here upload upload a picture again I could choose multiple if I wanted to multiple pictures browse I now go off and search where I have that photograph there's my photograph that I have resized I select open and I click OK and the photograph will upload if you had done chosen multiple copies um, you can select it now I have noticed that whatever name you put on here will um, basically make it appear first or last in your show so if I put the initial a beside that it will make it first in the slideshow okay you can fill in the other details if you want to but you don't have to anything that's marked with a red star means you do have to fill it in so I'm just going to select okay and that photo has been entered here now I put the letter a before that a rang qualter which won't be seen but it means that the photograph I uploaded now will appear first so if I go back to Ron Qualter, I can see now that my photographs are here. OK, so again, if that was a rotating part, it works in exactly the same way. To go into it again, you click on Photos. And to take that photograph down, because I have the same photograph appearing twice, you just select it there, Actions, and Delete. And yes, I do want to delete it. And that's all you need to know about uploading photographs. Most important thing to remember is to, for you and your students to modify the photographs to make them suitable for viewing on a website first. So they have the photographs saved. They then open Microsoft um, Picture Manager, edit the photographs, export them, and then save. Come out of that, and then you go back into your website.
that's it thank you